Hello and welcome, I'm Rolly Lewis Photographer and today we're going to be looking at behind the scenes of a Caravaggio masterpiece I recreated in Los Angeles just over two years ago. And as always, if you like today's video, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for further content. I also offer online mentoring and workshops. Take a look at the links below, you'll find all the details there, and some links including recommended books and recommended equipment for the portrait photographer. As you may have noticed, there's a great deal of Renaissance Italian influence in my portraiture, drawing inspiration from the old master painters like Caravaggio, Titian and Ribera. I have attempted to masterfully recreate the light, atmosphere and tones of classical portrait paintings in my work. This is even more apparent in my latest projects. Caravaggio only had a career spanning 10 years, but in that time he became the most influential artist who ever lived. He had no workshop, bequeathed no drawings, and left no pupils. Many artists owe a great debt to Caravaggio. These include Rembrandt, Rubens, Ribera, Vermeer, and even in the modern day, Scorsese and Greenway, who have created scenes which edify Caravaggio's ideas of light, shadow, and even drama. So as I've mentioned before, you're nothing without a compelling subject. In order to recreate this image, I had to find the right character to play St. Jerome. In looking for my subject, I scoured Model Mayhem, Backstage, Star Now, and finally Facebook, where I found the quintessential character actor, Frank Weitzel. Hi, I'm Frank Weitzel. I consider myself an actor. <laughs> Uh, I'm here for a photo shoot with Roy, and it's been an enjoyable experience, and hope to do it again. Subject found, I then went on to explore the themes of the inspiration. The painting depicts St. Jerome, a doctor of the church in Roman Catholicism, and a popular subject in painting even for Caravaggio, who produced other paintings of Jerome in meditation and engaged in writing. The painting is generally dated from 1605 to 1606. However, when Frank visited the studio for the sitting, I noticed he had an incredible tattoo on his arm. Hardly something from the Renaissance, however, I felt to add this modern contemporary moment to the picture would make a stunning recreation. In dressing Frank, I just simply used a red blanket. Now, where do you find the most appropriate red blanket? Well, I like to keep things simple, so I scoured Amazon and found a $10 blanket for the sitting. So in this sitting, what I'm trying to say to you is, you don't have to spend a great deal to recreate these portraits. Caravaggio was a simple artist who used contemporary clothing to recreate all these religious scenes. Lighting-wise, I decided to keep it nice and harsh and used a shoot-through umbrella and just to light the background and light the back of Frank's head, a simple softbox with a grid mounted. Shooting at f7.1 just to keep everything harsh and the tones and everything in focus. In directing Frank, I wanted him to assume this look of a learned scholar. St. Jerome was attributed to translating the Bible, and Frank sits at his desk with all these religious accoutrements around him, including a skull which symbolises almost rebirth and capturing this contemporary religious portrait in a modern age. As mentioned, I like to keep things as simple as possible. The most perfect, brilliant ideas come from simplicity. If you want to attempt this portrait, then I recommend that you yourself try it in a simple, easy way, just using one or two lights, find a, com a compelling subject and recreating something astounding. The purpose of this video is to show you that anything can be achieved just using simple lighting, simple themes and easy direction. 
I'm a fan of those photographers who, like myself, just use simplicity to capture their portraits. So there it is. Thank you for watching today's video and I always enjoy reading your feedback and comments below. Please also check out our Instagram, Facebook and Twitter feed for great hints, tips and my latest work. And again, thanks for watching.